Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. In this video, we will be running with Conor McGregor, but it might not be a live commentary. I want to kind of talk about what's going on with the cursed card. UFC 223. That card was supposed to be so dope. Oh, man. Man, it has been a crazy week in the UFC. I still can't believe it. Like, I really can't. Because it started with Habib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson getting called off. And I thought it was a joke. They announced that on April Fool's Day. Like, come on, man. D-Man ain't no dummy. Maybe I am because it actually got called off. Apparently, Tony Ferguson was in a freak accident. And I was kind of bummed about that because I've been wanting to see that fight. Like, I was mad. Look at the two-piece from Connor. Dropped him. Okay. I was mad. But then, Blessed Arrow stepped in, Matt Holloway. And I was kind of taking that with a grain of salt. And I'm a fan of Matt Holloway. But even if he was able to fight, I knew Khabib was going to win that fight, period. But it turns out that he wasn't able to make weight. I mean, it sounds believable. On six days notice, that is tough. And he's coming off an injury too, so, man, that would have been crazy. Look at Aldo going well. Golly, this Aldo was aggressive. Really aggressive. But, yeah, now Holloway was out. And then after that, Conor McGregor went nuts. And that's why I'm fighting with Conor in this video because I figured, I mean, damn, Conor, you want to fight so badly. Let me pick you on UFC 3, right? And so, a video comes out of Connor going nuts, man. Going crazy. I was trying to figure out why he was throwing things at this bus, bro. But it turns out that Connor, like, look, I'm not even mad at Connor. I think we all need a friend like Connor. He flew across the ocean to back his boy up. That's tough. But because of that, a bunch of fights got canceled. Fights that I was looking forward to. Man, this card was supposed to be beast. Chiesa versus Pettis. Cancel Borg versus Moreno. Cancel. I'm like, bro, everything is getting dropped. And on top of that, Ardon's fight got canceled with Alice Caceres. And I was, oh, that body shot. Why am I body shotting like this in this fight? Connor is no joke in the featherweight division on UFC 3. But yeah, Connor was basically backing up Ardon. And his fight got canceled against Alice Caceres. And I was upset about that because I am a fan of Alex. But, man, I've never seen anything like this. Or maybe I have. I just forgot. But I doubt it, man. Connor is wild. And speaking of Connor, look at the finish on this fight. On the way down, side kick, knockout. Connor is a beast. That Jose Aldo was really aggressive. So I was able to go to the body a little bit. Got a few shots and really just put him down. But, man, Team Connor is about that life. And it's weird, though. The thing that throws me off is that everybody has been wanting Conor and Habib to fight. You can fight, bro. You can do it, I swear. Now, in Conor's case, he probably doesn't have to fight unless you really, really love fighting and really, really love getting hit. I mean, if I'm Conor, you secured the bag. You can really just chill out for a second. But that does not mean going around and getting other people hurt. I, I don't know. It's weird. Michael Chiesa took a cut to the face. Um, I think Ray Borg had glass in his eyes. Like, bro, that that is kind of wild. And I think Thug Rose was on that bus too. So she was put in danger. I was like, man, this whole card could have been done, though. But like I said, man, Connor, you're real one. He ride out for his. Shout out to Team Connor. Y'all kind of wild. But still, shout out anyways, man. I can't, I can't ignore that. So where does that leave us? We have Nurmagomedov against Raging Al Iaquinta. Man, <laughs> at least we still get the rematch between Rose and Joanna. So I'm looking forward to that at least. But, ah, oh, man, it's just tough. This car was supposed to be really good. Now, I'm not saying it won't be good. But you all know what I mean when it comes to star power, I guess, in a way. 
That's all I mean by that. I'm not saying the fights won't be good. So in the comments below, let me know who do you have winning. I'll be watching, but I probably won't be as excited, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm, I'm a little bummed out about what happened. So diving into this fight, we have a mirror match. Connor against Connor. I am red. And you see, he kept trying to bait me with the taunt. And he was really aggressive, like every Connor is in Featherweight. But I do like using Connor in Featherweight simply because, I mean, when I'm going on a little fix my record type of thing, Connor is the guy that gets it done. Whether I'm fighting Max Holloway or anybody else, if the fight stays on the feet, Connor can get the job done. But I only put this fight in, not because it was a good fight, but it was a funny finish. And you all know me, man. I'm all about having fun. I mean, it would be nice to just get better and take the game seriously. But when you have a game like Dragon Ball Fighters, I need to get good at that first. But you're going to see me trying to turn up right here. He tried to clinch. Get them germs off me. He's going in for the kill. I thought it was going to be a high kick. I tried to duck under it and got popped. But once he did that, I said, okay, I know what you're doing now. And you see me getting going with the slide back. That's straight too far away. Look, and now I'm lurking. He's trying to taunt like he's actually putting in work. He rocked me a few times, right? But I've rocked you too. So I'm chilling. And you know, they always get risky at the end of the round. Always. It never fails. So you see me go to the body a little bit. And look, I know what he's about to do. Step back. Straight. Come on, bro. That step back to the straight is the move. You see me finish fights like that. And I usually, like, I don't do it all the time. I do it as a bailout. Some people clinch as a bailout. Hold on, I do that too. And some people go to the ground as a bailout. Damn, I do that too. But sometimes I just step back straight. Man, you can't get reckless like that. <laughs> it's a rap like Christmas toys. So in the comments below, leave your predictions. You all be easy. Peace.